I'm Mike Larson. I'd like to tell you about a painting that I've completed called Alpha and Omega Cross. The cross, as you probably know already, is a reminder of our Christian faith, one of the key elements of our Christian faith. It reminds us of Jesus who died on the cross for our sins and he suffered on the cross. And as you notice, the cross does, is not a crucifix. It doesn't have Jesus on the cross. Um, and the reason it doesn't is because it, that reminds us that Jesus Christ is risen from the dead, that he is not dead, he is alive. And it, that in that process of suffering and dying on the cross and being risen from the dead, that Jesus has overcome sin, death, and the devil. And so that is one of the chief um, cornerstones of the Christian faith, that on the cross, Jesus died for your sins, and as such, in believing that, eternal life is yours. And it's, it's a crucial part of our Christian faith, and every Christian home really should have a cross in the Christian home. And as a reminder of that main element, um, some crosses are wood, some you'll find have jewels in them even. Um, this series of crosses, I'm doing a, a variety of different crosses. And uh, the cross is the same size in each of these images. Now, this cross is etched in. And um, I kind of like that. It gives it a, a rough, um, difficult look, which to me represents the suffering of Christ on the cross. I also like the clouds in this image. Um, it gives me a sense of heaven. Red being a color that represents blood, uh, the blood that Christ suffered on the cross, and so that's very significant. Green is a complementary color to red. Um, also good Christmas colors, so uh, the, the birth of Christ comes in and, and they just make nice compliments. The alpha and the omega letters, alpha means beginning, it's the first Greek letter, and omega being the last Greek letter means ending. And then they're put in reverse then as well. Um, so we have Alpha and Omega, Omega and Alpha. And this is significant to the Christian faith in that Christ is the beginning and the end. And he not only had an ending on the cross, but then that was his new beginning of eternal life and the life of, of Christians in forgiveness through his death and resurrection on the cross. So... Um, the Alpha and the Omega help to signify Christ as being part of the Trinity, God, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ, all separate but all one at the same time. The um, gold in the, cross, in the letters uh, signify heaven. Uh, often gold is associated with heaven. And you'll find in a lot of my paintings that I'll use symbolism, um, like the clouds in heaven, the gold in heaven, uh, that sort of thing. The red, the blood of Christ. This image is 16 by 20 inches. It's not real big, but it would fit nicely um, in a smaller area. Um, and it can be used in a larger area with a grouping of paintings. It might be kind of fun to have like four crosses in a, in a grouping um, because each of the crosses looks the same with the cross, but the outside part is all different. So it's kind of creative and you unique, but yet it blends in together as well. Um, I like this cross a lot. Um, I like the, the painting in the back. When I painted this cross, I really didn't have anything specific in mind other than I wanted something that felt like heaven. And, um, and I think I accomplished that uh, with the, the, the light seeming like it's coming through on the red. And I really, I really like this cross. As far as displaying this, it could go anywhere. Um, I would like it in a gold frame, or if you did like four of them, I would put them all in white frames. Um, and I think, you know, the cross needs to be in a prominent place because it is the, the, the chief symbol of the, the Christian faith. And so I would put it in the, the location that you're in most often. If, if you tend to find yourself in a, in a den or a living room or a study, that's where your crosses should be, as, as uh, their prominent reminder to you of what they represent. The takeaway for you and, and the advantage to having 
a painting like this or another cross in your house. I, I really like this cross. And, and I would say the advantage to having this is uh, it says, this is what I believe. It's an affirmation of your faith. And it's a reminder of your faith. And that's really valuable. So I hope you like this cross. Uh, for purchasing or more information, go to my website, send me an email, and uh, my website is MikeLarsonArt.com. Thanks.